welcome to a place called Ash. And Ash is lying between the city of Canterbury and the ancient ports of Richborough and Sandwich. Ash stands on a low ridge with the marshes of the River Stow. It's just a superb place and it's, uh, yeah, Ash. And it's amazing what you can do with two days and one night on a trip of the UK, okay? And you've got the Miner's Way. There's a new walking and cycling trail. And you've got St. Austin in Kent. Austin was a monk from Rome who was sent by Pope Gregory to bring Christianity to Britain. He landed in Kent in AD 597 with 40 followers and set up a mission in Canterbury. Within a few months, Albert, the King of Kent, and thousands of local people have begun have been baptised. Christianity then spread throughout the southern England. Austin renamed in Canterbury until his death, probably in AD 604 or 65. He founded a monastery which flourished for nearly a thousand years and become a famous place of learning. He also established a, can a cathedral which was rebuilt on the grand scale after the Norman conquest. Canterbury remains the religious capital of England to this day. St. Austin's in Kent. Well, so he came to, it's amazing. You don't just get all this history here. It's historical village, the street, and this is how it is today. The 17th of April. 2024 and Ash is lying between the city of Canterbury and the Asian ports of Richborough and Sandwich. Ash stands on a low ridge with the marshes of the River Stow on one side and gently scoping downland on the other. The Roman road from Richborough to London passed through Ash and Roman finds have been made near each end and overland. Excavations around one of the richest Anglo Saxon ceremonies cemeteries at Gilton have revealed weapons and ornaments from a thriving pagan community. Ash was part of Archbishop Wiggins Manor until 1282 when it became a separate parish. Ash High Street, 1870. Ash School Children in 1910. The Old Checkers in 1900. And Ash today, beautiful. Many of Ash's historical houses are still in use.